Chapter 11 Process Monitoring In this chapter, we first discuss different performance dashboards. Then we give an introduction to process mining. After that, we discuss automatic process discovery, process performance mining, conformance checking and variant analysis. Finally, we have a look at how process mining is done in practice. We now have reached the part of the BPM lifecycle that is concerned with process monitoring. Executable processes are continuously monitored in order to get an understanding of the conformance and performance of the process. In general, we can distinguish two approaches to process monitoring. The first category of approaches is based on statistics. It is the approach that is taken by performance dashboards. These performance dashboards visualize with charts different performance aspects of a process. Model-based techniques give priority to the process flow. This is the approach taken by process mining. The process flow is visualized with diagrams. And these diagrams make it easy to understand how work is floating through the process. Chapter 11, Section 1 Performance Dashboards In general, we can distinguish three categories of process dashboards. The first category is concerned with operational dashboards. They look at cases during they unfold. Tactical dashboards are concerned with historic information of already closed cases. And strategic dashboards provide aggregations. We will discuss this more in detail. Operational process dashboards take as input the data of currently executing cases. By the help of this monitoring, we can get an understanding of the work that is currently in progress. We may get notifications and alerts about problematic cases, for example, if they are overdue or at risk of running late. We also get an understanding of the workload of the resources that are involved with the process. Here you see an example of such an operational process dashboard as provided by Bizagi. On the left hand side we see the status of different cases. We see that 57% are on time, 39% are on risk, and 3.5%, roughly speaking, are already overdue. On the right hand side, we get more information how cases that went overdue are distributed over time. Here you see that on certain days in March, there are more cases than on others. Tactical dashboards are concerned with the overall process performance on an aggregated level. This means we do not look at singular cases, but on a whole batch of cases that have been running at a certain period of time. 
This is helpful information for process owners and process managers who are not interested too much in individual cases, but on averages and minimum and maximum values of performance. The analysis provided by tactical dashboards is meaningful for detecting, for example, bottlenecks. Such aggregated performance indicators may be cycle time, error rates, or resource utilization. Let's have a look at such a tactical dashboard. Again, here we see a screenshot of the Bizagi tool. It shows a histogram of durations. In this way, we can see how the duration is distributed and how many cases take a certain length of time. Such tactical performance dashboards can also show aggregated levels of performance, for instance, for different geographical regions. What is highlighted here is a tactical performance dashboard of an Australian insurance company. You see that apparently the distribution of certain values that are associated with process performance differ for the different states in Australia. In this way, we can drill down and understand what are the factors that contribute to the performance in this and that part of the country. Let's also look at strategic performance dashboards. Here we take the example of an Australian utilities provider. Strategic performance dashboards aggregate further the performance of individual process and relate it to key performances that are important for the overall success of a company. You see such key performance indicators mentioned on the left-hand side column of this table. These are customer satisfaction, customer for complaint, customer feedback, and connection less than agreed time. Different processes contribute to these key performance indicators. You see here that the manage unplanned outages process as much as the manage emergencies and disaster, manage work programming and resources, and management procurement contribute a share to these different key performance indicators. What is behind these highly aggregated numbers are different steps of aggregation, where different performance related pieces of information are step-by-step step aggregated onto such a high level of performance. You see here the tree of aggregation for the manage unplanned outages process. Measurements are taken on the third and fourth layer and are step-by-step step further aggregated into level two and level one. In this way, we obtain overall index values that inform us about the status of these strategic key performance indicators.